Hi friends. Um, welcome back to Thursday Live with um, Sablin from Relative Growth. Uh, some of us are friends, some of us aren't. So I would love for you to join us um, and become friends. Um, today, um, today's going to be a fun day. I um, The topic is uh, the Busy Mom's Gratitude Practice and how practicing gratitude um, can it is it the secret to happiness so basically if you 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 practice a gratitude practice or if you practice a gratitude practice this is going to be a fun day i can already tell um basically is being grateful the secret to happiness that was our topic today and i come into it and you know what let's just be real life is crazy i mean um today has been a hard day and between trying to figure out what's going to happen with the schools and is there going to be a second wave with the numbers of the quarantine and politics and i'm not trying to get into politics by any means i'm just i'm trying let's i'm talking girlfriend to girlfriend person to person like life is crazy right now in terms of the uncertainties of what's good what's tomorrow going to look like i mean fourth of july is this weekend and there's no fireworks at least not here in california and not in our county and where we're at and so i'm trying to figure out how to make it special for our kids and so often i try to get onto social media and i try to portray this presence of everything's okay and to be grateful and to be thankful and to be happy but you know what sometimes it's not like i i spent the morning crying and it's kind of awkward to say that on here but you know what like I want to be real and I want to be true and I want you to know that if that's where you're at you're not alone like life is different and it's hard and um things where I thought I was strong and I could handle more of just seem to kind of be weighing down on me a lot more than I ever thought like I misplaced some images for social media that were to accompany this post and I nearly lost it and my five-year-old turned to me he's like mommy do you need a hug and I very much did and I very much enjoyed that but people my gosh like that those are not things that set me off normally normally I'm like ah, move on I'll redo it not a big deal and I think it's kind of funny because here we're going to talk about gratitude and how I feel like it's a secret of happiness and I truly do and I, I I'm going to share with you a few things about that but it also comes in the midst of I'm having a bad day so as we talk about how gratitude is the happiness of secret it's not to mean it's the end all be all it's not to say that you will never not have a bad day again and I'm actually going to change the camera a little bit because look at that little cutie you know sometimes that just helps um it doesn't mean that you're not gonna have those days where you're like that's it i am going to take a day i'm going to rejuvenate i'm going to take care of myself because i'm worth it like that's okay so that is my disclaimer as we go into it so gratitude is one of those practices that within my studies on happiness and leadership and love and self-value and authenticity it keeps coming up over and over again and it's something that i have dabbled with because of the benefits are just so high and i actually linked the article that i wrote about gratitude down below so there's a whole long list of like why practicing gratitude has been shown medically and from smarter people than me do not take my word from it it's this is all from the smarter people but some of them, it helps improve sleep. It helps improve uh, connection. I have notes down here. Um, you know, helps improve connection and joy. And so when you see things like that, when you see things along the studies of how to be a better leader, how to be happier, how to, how to strengthen your love connection, how to increase your authenticity, and you see one of those practices over and over again, that being gratitude, you're intrigued by it. You want to try it out. You want to test it. At least I do. So... Um, I, I have, and I have tried it and I have failed. I mean, the practice is how do you, with a busy schedule, add in gratitude and there's different ways you can do it. You can journal, you can start your day off in the shower and I, um, I've tried it all and I have ideas on how you can try it and it never stuck. 
and I would try it for 30 days, I would try it for seven, I would uh, try different methods, and it never brought me that um, aha moment until recently. And I want to share that story with you because I feel that there's something powerful, not in my aha moment, because everyone has their own aha moment, but in the power of trying something new until it works for you. And also knowing that if something doesn't work, but the, the smart people say that you should do it, that it's okay to be like, this doesn't work for me and to move on. That's okay. That's what makes you wonderful. And so knowing that there's a lot going on, knowing that we don't know what it's going to look like when the schools reopen, knowing that the numbers for the viruses are increasing and not knowing what the new norm is, you know, what's the, what's the custom? Like you walk into a, a business and, um, and maybe this is just me. Maybe it's just me because I'm starting to get out into the world again for the very first time. And I was in my office building and I had my mask on and I was talking with my accountant and I took it off and I had that moment of panic of like, oh my God, I should not have done that. That's not okay. It's, it's just, it's a very new, like what you want to be respectful to others. You want to be respectful to yourself. Everyone has their own thing, but it's a lot of new and uncertainty and change. And that can bring up a lot of different emotions. And, um, it could be a lot to handle. And I was finding myself having this mental checklist going through my head at the middle of the night or the first thing in the morning. So I would, I was finding myself um, waking up and my mental checklist of things I needed to do, the things I needed to worry about, the things that were weighing on me were going through my mind. I mean, I had the habit of, you know, turning my phone and seeing what today's numbers were and seeing what the was going on in politics with the news and see what's going on with the, you know, the economy. And that was the first thing out of my head. And that's not a good morning habit to have. And it was just propelling me through the day with those thoughts. And someone suggested, they're like, stop, this is wrong. Why are you doing this? Give yourself permission to change what is going on in your head, change it to a gratitude practice. And I had a choice. I could have been like, I have tried gratitude practices. They don't bring me that aha moment. They don't make me feel good. But I was lost in that moment. So I was like, you know, what do I have to lose? The, the, what I'm doing is not working for me. The, the path that I'm propelling myself down with this negativity was not how I wanted to start my day. It was not how I wanted to meet my children or my spouse for thing in the morning. And so I gave it a try. So as I was waking up in the morning, you know, as the sun was rising and the birds were chirping and my mind started to wake up, but my body wasn't quite there. And that list of just stuff was going through whatever you want to fill it in with, whether it being your to-do list or, you know, the worries that we have to, you know, think about, um, whatever you fill in, you do you, you fill in what was on your list. It's not the most rewarding way to wake up. It's not the most, um, I mean, no one wants to wake up like that. Come on. I mean, if you do, you do you, but I didn't want to wake up that way. And so someone had suggested I change it with a gratitude practice. And so what I did was when I started ticking through all those very negative thoughts, I, for the first time in my life was able to change it and say, mm -mm, I am grateful for my very comfy sheets because I, that is the one thing that I, it's a must. I do like comfy sheets. And so I would start with there. And then I say, you know, I'm grateful for the children that are sleeping in the bedroom next to me. I am grateful for this beautiful house. I am grateful for able to do something that I love every day. I am grateful for the fact that I have toilet paper, that I have coffee in my coffee machine, that I have food to put on the breakfast table. And I just started listing everything that I was grateful for until I felt better, until I was able to open my eyes and not have this like wall of stress. And believe it or not, today, well, we, we can go into that because I, I wanted to share that as much as it did help, it really did help. I was able to start to wake up in a better mood. There are days like today and even a little bit into this week where 
it helped, but I still had my sad days. And that's okay. I share that because I don't ever, ever, ever want you to feel that if you have your sad days or if you're feeling those emotions, that they're wrong in any means. No one is perfect. No one is 100% happy. So that's, that's the disclaimer that I wanted to make sure you have. But I did. I was able to change that mindset. And it was this nice, rewarding feeling that as I was waking up and as the litany of those negative thoughts started to come in, I can snap my fingers and be like, no, I have comfy sheets this morning. I have three happy children sleeping next door. I have coffee that I can enjoy. And I have breakfast that I know I'm going to put on the table. I get to go for a walk with a friend today. I get to listen to my book as I take the dog out. Just anything and everything. Because then what it started to get me into was there's a lot of scary things going on. But there's a lot to be thankful for. And that's what it came down to. Is I'm not minimizing the scary things. Those don't go away. Those are still there. Still don't know what the heck's going to happen on August 30, 13th when my kids go back to school. Still don't know how I'm going to manage the work and the homework and the child care. I don't know. I don't know what that's going to look like. I still don't know if we're going to have a second wave. I still don't know if there's going to be a second quarantine. I still don't know how that's going to look for my husband's home service business or for my other marketing company. I don't know. But what I do know is that I have a lot that's going on, whether it be the I was going to pet him, but he's probably going to bite me. But I have a dog that likes me, who's not here. I don't know where she is. I think she's in another room. You get my point. Like, there's a lot to be thankful for. And I'm going to focus on what I can be thankful for first thing in the morning so that I have the right mindset to tackle the unknown, to try and find solutions for that unknown. But to be able to do that, I have to be in the right mindset, which takes me kind of back to today. Today, I'm not in the right mindset. Today, I am probably telling myself, or my body's trying to tell me, that I need to take some time for myself to rejuvenate, that I need to take a break. For me to be my best version of myself, to be the best mother, the best leader, the best wife, the best friend, I have to take a break. And so I have done what I needed to do. I have talked to my teammates. I am on this video. And after this video, what I know works well for me is I'm going to curl up in my bed with a book. Those very comfy sheets are calling me. And I am going to take a few hours for myself um, since I have childcare available. Because this weekend I won't have childcare. And this weekend it's as relaxing as it will be with my parents, I am still going to be mom to three little kids who need me all the time. And I love that phase of my life, but there's still times where I need to do me and I need to take care of me. Just like there's gonna be times in your life where you need to do you and you need to take care of you. And that is okay. We have to give ourselves permission to take care of ourselves, especially right now, especially right now. So what can you walk away with this? Try. Try what works for you. Not what works for me. Not what works for the smart people. But works for you. I linked an article below where I took information from the smart people and I took ideas from uh, other gratitude practices that have worked for other people. And I list them out for you. That way, if you want to try this, if you want that aha feeling, if you want to see if this brings a, a wave of calm over you, you can try it. And mama, I hear you. If you're saying, Sabalyn, I am busy, I have, I hear you. Like, I know what it's like to be told to do one more thing to make you better where you're like, how? I barely have time to sleep. Between the companies and the kids and the house and the animals, life is crazy. And so what I did is I tried to really stay to, true to this is a gratitude practice for busy moms. So it's kind of multitask in there with other things. So instead of it being, and yes, you can do the five minute journal, but for some mornings and some days, that's just not possible. And I hear you on that. I, I get that. And if you're in the season where you have a little one and you're nursing and you have the sleepless nights, Doing one more task is near impossible. 
But as you hold that baby through another sleepless night, maybe you add in that gratitude practice mentally. You know, as you take your shower, clear your mind of that list of things that you need to do and have your gratitude practice. As you're sitting at a red light, maybe that's your cue. Find your cue of what works for you. And remember, your outcome is you want that peace of calm. If you get anxiety from trying to do a gratitude practice, you haven't found the right practice. Now, does that mean that you give up forever? No. Try again. Try something else. Come back to it in six months. But you need to find what works for you. So on that note, I am going to go do what I need to do. So I am going to say bye, my friends. Take care of yourself. Remember that if you found this video helpful, to like it, to share it, and to subscribe. Because um, we do this every week, every Thursday, there's something new. Um, and I would love for us to be friends and to see you again. So on that note, bye. I'll see you next week.